Welcome to Greenshine Farmer's video blog about a family starting a farm and going back to the homestead lifestyle. Episode 11, Building a Walk-In Cooler. So today we're putting up a walk-in cooler. Um, a few things about this project, we don't quite know if it's going to work. It's a little unorthodox. Since we don't own this property, we didn't want to pour cement. So we put down some road bond, just called ABC stone. It's cheap, it's like 650 a half ton. And you know, it kind of goes on a slope. So we tried to level it out the best we could. It's still gonna be on a slight angle, but that's not the end of the world because you actually want a little bit of an angle so any moisture will run out of the cooler. So, you know, when it came down to it, uh, it was either between building a floor, like most people do, out of, um, out of plywood, and uh, foam board and two by fours, uh, which would have got really expensive. I found these panels here. Um, a guy up in Rocky Top, Tennessee, uh, David, actually hooked us up with these awesome panels. Gave us a really good deal, and it's just they're all different sizes, so it's not necessarily a floor. These are wall panels. I think one of them might be a roof panel, but they're well insulated and it should do the job. So right now we're just trying to line everything up, make sure all the panels are even, and since our walk-in cooler is a 10 by 10, um, we're actually gonna do like a 12 by 12 platform uh, because that's just kind of the size of these other panels. So a little unorthodox, but we're gonna find a way to make it work. Okay, so we're here inside the walk-in cooler and it's pretty easy to put together. You've got these holes here and inside there's a hook that kind of latches. So you just take a basic hex key and fit it in there. And then you take a pair of pliers and just kind of turn. And if you want to get a close-up of this, like come over here and check it out here, you'll see it just sucks it, pulls it right into place. So you get a nice and you know, pretty much airtight seal. Okay, so we're here in our walk-in cooler and we are going to be setting up our cool box. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> All air conditioning units, they have this uh, sensor here that's usually plugged into the coils. So we're going to want to take this and we're going to want to take the heater sensor. It's got this like pink tape over it. And we're going to put these two together. And you want them to be really snug. So I'm actually going to fold this down and really want them to be up tight. And what this uh, heater wire is going to do is it's going to heat up and it's going to trick the AC unit into thinking it's warmer in here than it is. Uh, therefore the AC unit will actually run past 60 degrees because most of these are designed to where once they get to, you know, typically as low as they'll go is 60 degrees and once they get there they won't go any lower. Um, so this will allow us to get down to 40 degrees. So I'm just going to kind of wrap it up nice and tight. Okay, so then we're going to want to take our thin uh, sensor 
and you have to go down here to where the fins are, towards the bottom. You don't want it to be hitting a coil, but you're just going to kind of take, you could take a pencil or like a flathead screwdriver and make a little bit of a space for it and just kind of stick it in there uh, so that it's, you know, kind of snug. Odin, don't pull that, buddy. All right, so that's in there now, and that is going to keep these coils from frosting up. So um, if it gets too cold and it's starting to detect frost on the coils, it'll tell the cool bot to kind of pull back a little bit. Um, other than that, you've just got this sensor that uh, you know senses the room temperature, and this over here is the, uh, the power cord. So we're going to plug it in. All right, now the room temperature is currently 82 degrees. Uh, we'll turn on, and you can set it so you can go to what you want the room temperature to be. And I've got it set for 40, which is perfect. Uh, you can go and check the fins, and it's at zero, which is the lowest uh, fin setting. I would suggest zero, or you can do one if you were afraid of your fins um, heating up. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. So, so we're good to go. It's 83 degrees in here, it's quite warm. We're going to turn on our brand new AC unit and it's going to start blowing. And now I really need to spray foam this. Everything else should be pretty well insulated. Um, so I'm going to spray foam this really quick and we're going to see if this works. Okay, so the last AC unit we had, uh, we got it off Craigslist. It was supposed to be 30,000 BTUs and the uh, compressor didn't work. So I went out. And I got a brand new one and got home and found out that it's actually 230 volt, which we were not wired up for. So again, project got pushed back a couple of days. I had an electrician come out here and he wired, uh, we wired uh, 230 volts into the power line. So we've got this and then we have 125 volt up here to power the cool bot itself. And then we'll probably run an extension uh, when we get our washing station set up. But you know, we basically just stuck it in, have it on a slight decline so that the water runs back, and we just spray foam the outside. It's not the neatest looking thing in the world, but it works. And uh, these panels up here, I want to thank Steve up in Madison, Wisconsin. We brought these down with us, and then, uh, like I said before, David up in uh, up in uh, Rocky Top gave us these floor panels, and then we basically just framed it in with uh, two by sixes. So we're here inside the cooler right now. And uh, it, is, uh, it says 50 degrees, so the, the AC unit will cycle on and off. And since we just had the door open, um, it was down about where we wanted it, but it you know heats up fairly quickly, so it also cools down really quickly. So this right here is our AC unit. We've got our fin sensor in here, which is important because it keeps these fins from frosting up. If that does happen to you, uh, just turn it off and let everything defrost and then plug it back in. Also with this particular unit, it has a secondary sensor. So the first sensor is up here, it's connected to the cool bot, um, and that's tricking it into thinking it's warmer than it is. But then this sensor down here uh, was also still plugged in. So my problem was I couldn't get this down below, um, you know, into like the 40 degree range uh, consistently. And it was because this guy was still plugged in. So I basically just took off this grill and, uh, and pulled it out. It's pretty simple. Um, and also, I want to say the people at Coolbot are really great. If you have any problems, they have really good customer service, and uh, they've helped me out on a number of occasions. Um, as for you know this, we basically just spray foam the bottom for extra insulation. I still need to caulk some of these gaps. It's probably not necessary, but it won't hurt anything. And then we just put a motion sensing light in here, uh, so that when we walk in, we'll have light, and this will turn off after about. Uh, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. If you guys like this video and you'd like to see more like it, leave us a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, visit us at greenshinefarms.com and follow us on Instagram at greenshinefarms. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.